In this video, I will show you how to install the Comet Backup Client on a Synology NAS using Comet support for Synology's native SBK packages, and how to set up a protected item and run and restore a backup. For this, I'll be using a Synology NAS running DSM-7, the latest version of Synology's operating system, but Comet also supports DSM-6. We also already have a user setup with a storage vault ready to go. First of all, we download the Comet installer from the Download Client software page. Our device uses DSM-7, so we'll download the package for that. Once we've downloaded the installer, we go to our NAS and open the Package Center. From there, we initiate a manual install and upload the file that we just downloaded. Once the installer has finished unpacking, we agree to the third-party developer notice, as well as to the terms of the license agreement. Now we enter our credentials for Comet. The server URL uh, is already pre-filled for us, so we just need to enter the username and password of our Comet user. Before we finish the installation, we can just go to our, our Comet server and check that we have no devices currently registered. And we can finish the installation. Now that it's installed, we can go back to our client, uh, our server, sorry, and refresh the page. And we now see that we have a newly registered device, which is online. We can also go into the installed section of the package center, and we'll find Comet Backup installed and currently running. Now that we have Comet installed on our Synology NAS, we can. Uh, create a protected item, but before we do that, we just need to configure the permissions so that Comet has access to the shared folders that we want to back up. To do that, we go to the control panel and find the shared folder that contains the data we want to back up. We then edit it, select its permissions, and find the special user that Comet Backup runs under, which is Backup Tool. Once we've found that user, we uh, select custom permissions. We make sure that the permissions that we're entering apply to all. And then we enable all permissions. Once we've done that, we can accept it. Tick apply to this folder, subfolder and files so that we have access to everything accept that, and finally, we save the settings. Now that we have permission to access the shared folder, we can begin to set up a protected item. To do that, we go to the protected items tab on our Comet server, and we add a protected item to the device that we just installed. We'll be creating a file and folder backup. So we select that, and we'll add a couple of files to it. So we find the shared folder that we just configured, which is this one here, and then we'll just select a few things to back up. Save that. We're not doing anything else fancy here, so we can just save the protected item. And now that we have a protected item, we can run it. To do that, we go to our Devices tab. We select the, uh, the connection to the device that we just installed. And we run the backup.
And now that the backup's running, we can uh, find the job to monitor its progress. And we can see that this job is currently ongoing. We just wait for the job to finish. And the job has finished. It was a success. And we can have a look just to make sure that the right files were all backed up. Everything looks to be OK there. So now we can proceed to restore some files. But just to make sure the restore is actually working, we'll first delete a couple of the files from the shared folder. And now, in the same way that we ran the backup job, we can also initiate an install, a restore from the devices tab. Select the backup that we just did. And we will just restore everything right back to the original paths. And again, we can watch this job as it runs. Now we see that the job was a success, and we can verify that by making sure that the files that we deleted have returned. And of course, if we want to stop Comet, we can now just stop it from the Synology Package Center directly. And now if we have a look at our connections, we'll note that it's offline again. And of course, we can restart it in much the same way. back. And with that, we've covered the basics of how to install and use Comet Backup on a Synology NAS. You can find more information and step-by-step -step instructions on our website and in our documentation, so head over there to get started. Thank you for watching.